Hello everyone, this is Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. I'm giving you a first look video of the new FabFilter Pro Q2. This plugin just came out today. And I wanted to give you a first look because next week when I'll have a full review for you guys, I want to mix a brand new song. So please, if you have some tracks, put them on Dropbox or whatever upload service that you can put them in a zip file please so i don't have to click save as a million times i guess up to 20 tracks i really don't want to do any more than that but send in your tracks your mixes if you want to youtube at realhomerecording.com i'll put um I'll put the email address in the video description so it's a little bit easy to just copy and paste it. Anyway, I want to do a full mix with this new plugin. It's version 2 of Pro-Q, which is a workhorse of an EQ plugin. It's easy to use. It sounds great. I never reviewed Pro-Q, but um, I'll tell you what, this new version... Once again, FabFilter outdid themselves as far as functionality and quality is concerned. First of all, let's go down the list of new features. We have a natural phase mode. Let me bring this up a little bit. Natural phase mode, which is their analog hardware equivalent for Pro-Q because Pro-Q was known as a clean EQ, so it looks like they are uh, trying to gear themselves more towards a more analog sound, which is great. And then we also have, um, to go along with analog, we have um, this gain scale. When you double click and add one, we can do a gain scale. You see that? That's what I like about FabFilter plugins. You just put your mouse over something and it tells you what's going on. This is something that happens with analog hardware. It's this uh, Q interaction. And that's what this option does. Next up, we have the full screen, which is really cool. Look at that. Oh, man, for my blind eyes, this is fabulous. So let me play this and um, show you what it does. Show you, show you what it looks like. Oh, that's awesome. Now, right now, on my screen at least, this looks slow. When I'm not doing screen capture, this is like smooth as butter. But because I'm working on a relatively old computer and trying to do screen capture all at once, um, it's a little bit slower than what you guys will see when you demo it. Um, anyway, Fab Filter. Also added this spectrum grab option. Where you can literally, um, let's see, I'm going to freeze this. Actually, let me just grab it like this. See how that, see how it moves like that? I can just start grabbing stuff. Watch. I'm just going to put my mouse over it. Now, look at that, see? And I'm going to go, woo! <laughs> That's cool, right? Okay, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Functionality with this plugin is incredible. Other things they did, they um, they upped their game on the linear phase. Apparently now when you do automation with it, they no, there's no longer any zipper artifacts, which is a pretty big deal. We also have slope options for every filter. So right here, See how it says 12 decibels per octave. Now watch what it does when I bring this down. So I'm going to change it to a, um, a narrower or a greater one. See that? I mean, that just makes... That's a pretty damn good, big deal. I mean, it, it just shapes your EQ in ways that other plugins really don't do. So just the amount of options that you can do with this plugin, it's not even that really overwhelming because their interface is so nice that even though they give you a lot of options, it's still a clean interface. And really with this full screen mode, <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing. I'm actually going to get out of it now so that I can at least show you guys um, what it looks like normally. 
But yeah, um, some other things. They added a tilt filter. Wee! <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Um, and a band pass. So if you want to get that radio effect, it's really easy to do. And then we also have, um, where did the, I don't think I have it on here yet. The, the piano mode. Hold on. It's on here, but I don't really know where it is. <laughs> so I'm, maybe I'll find it. Um, I, well, I will find it for sure when we do the review. Like I, I said, I'm literally just putting this plugin on right now and uh, going off my experience with Pro Q version one as far as quality is concerned but we're, we're really going to get into how this thing sounds next week i don't know if this is a new feature or not but auto gain so that when you boost or cut it keeps your volume relatively the same which is something that i suggested way back when this channel first started that you need to make sure that when you're eqing you're also changing your gain either up or down, depending. And this, this this auto gain functionality that a lot of newer plugins are having is really, really cool. Especially with EQ, it just, it, it makes things so much easier to make sure you're getting the result of either a cut or a boost and not of a volume cut or boost. We also have the uh, phase invert, which um, Reaper has this already, but if your doll doesn't have a phase invert, I'm sure that will come in handy. Oh, CPU usage has been brought down big time. So um, I think they said a 50% decrease, which is really amazing. <laughs> and um, looking at my, my notes here, EQ match. Right there. This helps, or this will help with match, um, well, duh, matching, with mastering. This plugin, if you don't already own other FabFilter plugins, is 200 bucks. They do offer educational discounts as well. If you already own FabFilter Pro Q, they also have an upgrade discount. So um, 200 bucks for a really useful plugin that you'll pretty much use on every mix is a decent bargain. And like I said, if you if you own other fab filter plugins, then it's even cheaper. So check it out. They give you a I think 14 day demo, maybe more. Actually I can just look on here. Oh 30 days. 30 day evaluation. And um, yeah, so definitely check it out, guys. I'll put a link in the video description, but please send in some tracks if you want me to mix it. I'm not going to mix everybody's. I'm just going to mix one song. I'll pick my favorite one, I guess, but I want to I wanna mix a, a brand new song. I'll do a full mix and master for you so that I can demo this plugin properly and evaluate it because this is a big deal. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.